So first of all guys, Johnny Jackson from USA has got 13th place at the age of 49. And next we have Morgan Asti from France. He doesn't have much aesthetics but he had really good condition in entire lineup and he looks like skinless guy and um, if you see his glutes they were so dry and they were so sharp i haven't seen in this kind of glutes in the entire lineup from australia josh has come on 11th place he made a comeback after his health issues and disease and it's really inspiring and motivational to see him that he's still competing and he made a comeback to arnold classic and he will compete in uh, arnold classic australia too and next is patrick moore from united state who came on 10th place a lot of people were expecting that he can come in top 6 in Arnold Classic Ohio. Victor Martinez has come on 9th place and it was his last Arnold Classic Ohio. And it was strongest lineup in 10-15 uh, years of Arnold Classic Ohio history. So come coming in 9th place and beating young boys like Patrick Moore, it's a true testament of his passion of bodybuilding at the age of 46. So next is Max Charles from USA has got 8th place and according to me it's his best shape, best condition ever. He has improved his legs a lot, his legs are much bigger than before. Kim Lin representing USA has got 7th place and he has made significant improvement in Arnold Classic Ohio. He is very consistent making improvement day by day and I hope that in his next competition he will perform well and will qualify for Mr. Olympia 2020. So next is Arnold's favorite and very aesthetic bodybuilder Cedric McMillan has got $10,000 as a prize money for coming on 6th place. It's very inspiring that Sergio Leva Jr. competed in Arnold Classic Ohio and earned $25,000. $15,000 as a prize money for coming on 5th place and $10,000 for achieving Best Bowser Award. From USA, Steve Kuklu has come on 4th place and it's his highest place ever in Arnold Classic Ohio. So next is 300 albeus mass monster Big Remy from Egypt who came on 3rd place. Everybody was expecting and hoping this time that Big Remy will come in really extreme condition. Personally I was thinking that he is coming like a Kevin Lebron's condition and easily he is going to win this show. But it's a really big disappointment he didn't come in a really impressive condition overall. Uh, he improved his legs, so he had separation and condition condition there but the overall condition was not much impressive like William Bonac and um, especially 50 years old Dexter Jackson. So being a big fan of Big Ramy I hope that he performs very well in Arnold Classic Australia because William Bonac is not going to compete in Arnold Classic Australia and he was really close to have a second place in Ohio as he had 38 points and Dexter has 37 points so he was beaten by just one point. I hope that he wins Arnold Classic Australia and qualify for uh, Mr. Olympia 2020. So next we have 50 years old runner-up Dexter Jackson who came second. This time Dexter came with very tight midsection so he's still making improvements at the age of 50. <laughs> We 
William Bonnet the Conqueror has won second time on El Clasico Ohio and he is going to very tough competitor for Mr. Olympia 2020. So congratulations to him for winning on El Clasico Ohio for the second time.